All right, guys, drink more water. You are not drinking enough. I'm going to tell you why you're not drinking enough and how to drink more very easily. It's not hard at all, and I'm going to tell you how much you should be drinking. Let's get to the video. All right, guys, welcome to this video. We are going to be talking about the importance of drinking the correct amount of water, not just, you know, drinking a little bit of water, but the correct amount of water. And first, let's talk about how to get that amount of water and that calculation. So basically, you take your body weight, say um, you're a 200 pound male or female, depending on what you are, and you can times that number by 0.67. Where did, you, where did I get 0.67? So your body is made up of 66% water or 0.67. So basically you wanna replenish that amount of water. So once again, body weight times two thirds or 0.67. And that final answer will be the amount of fluid ounces you drink. Now, 200 pounds times 0.67 or two thirds will be about 134, and that's 134 fluid ounces of water. So you might be thinking, like, oh, you know, doctors tell me I should drink eight, um, eight eight ounce glasses of water. That's you know the typical what everyone should drink. That gets you 64. You're only halfway there. It's a good starting point but you're really only halfway there. So, do the calculation I gave you, it's extremely easy to get to that number. Now, most people um, who are in the fitness industry know what a blender bottle is. I got one right here. This one's 28 ounces, but your typical blender bottle will be 20 ounces. Do the math. Um, you know, to hit 134 for a 200 pound male, you'll need about six of these. Six times 20 is 120 ounces. Now, this is very easy and mobile. I use that and I use this. This is half a gallon. So imagine drinking two of these versus a little over six of these. It seems a lot less drinking these. And I mean, I can drink one of these very quickly in the morning. Bottle Joy is the company. I've been using this for about a year now. And like I said, it's half a gallon. I drink about a gallon of water is what I go for, you know, daily. It kind of falls in my range. Two of these, very easy. Drink one at the gym, one outside of the gym. Done. And any extra water, I just use a blender bottle. Like when I wake up in the morning, before I go to bed, etc., etc. Now, let's get on to the, um, we'll go with top eight reasons you should drink water. And, you know, the benefits, etc., etc. Number one is going to be it helps with bowel movements. Yes, it does, believe it or not. You're not going to become constipated. You're going to have an easy time on the toilet. You're not going to sit there and just have a tough time. You know, it reduces swelling. So with your bowel movements, bathroom breaks are easy. On the topic of bathroom breaks, though, you're going to be peeing a lot. You want to pee clear. A couple times a day, you know, it's fine. You don't want to be peeing that dark yellow color. That means you're dehydrated or something else is going on. So aim for the clear. Number two is that it fills you up. You're not going to be eating as much food. Um, you'll actually probably start losing weight if you are overweight and your goal is to lose weight because when you drink water right before a meal, you're not going to want to eat as much because you're kind of a little full already. And now with that is if you get hungry, I would highly, highly, highly suggest drinking some water and you'll actually find out that you're not going to be hungry anymore after that. Unless you're actually really hungry, then you'll drink water, it'll go away, and then the hunger will come back. So on to number three, that is that it stimulates um, the growth of the red blood cells, which make you a healthier human being. And it uh, creates more healthy uh, fluids, like, you know, going throughout your body. And pretty much, it, uh, it keeps, like I said, keeps you healthy and keeps you refreshed. You have healthy blood, you know, you're getting your oxygen in and out, which is exactly what you want. Or number four, which is a big one. Number four is that it relieves headaches. Drink water in the morning, you will notice that you have decreased headaches throughout the day if you are someone who gets them frequent. As you all know, if you are hungover, your head is pounding, and that's because you're dehydrated, which leads to a headache. Drink the water, the headache goes away. Number five is that it helps your immune system. <clears throat> So kind of like, you know, reduces infections, you know, if you drink water in the morning frequently and if you drink, you know, your adequate amount of water throughout the day, you will notice that you will not be getting as sick. 
you won't be visiting the doctor as much anymore and it kind of stabilizes the balance of fluids in your body which is exactly what you want which leads to back to the red blood cells and staying healthy now number six is you'll notice if you wake up let's do an experiment wake up tomorrow or you know two days from now three days from now drink water in the morning i guarantee you'll notice that you're a little more energized throughout the day i promise and that once again leads back to your red blood cells being healthy goes hand in hand so number seven which is a also very big one glowing skin clears your skin acne comes down you know acne forms from irregular bowel movements and um Going back to the first one, water helps with your bowel movements. Drink water, your skin's gonna be clear. You're gonna have a lot less, you know, dry skin. You're gonna have less acne on your body, and you're gonna notice your skin is starting to, you know, appear a little more healthy, which is exactly what you want. Now, a big one is that it's a uh, well, number eight. It's gonna increase your metabolic rate. You're going to uh, burn calories faster while drinking water, which helps you lose weight. It's gonna be digesting your food faster and more efficient. So water mixed with your you know, acids in your stomach, make sure your food is being digested to the correct locations and for the correct reasons. And like I said earlier, when you're hungry, drink some water, see what happens. You know, your hunger should go away. Like I said, it can help you lose weight because you know, you wake up, oh, you want a big breakfast, big breakfast. Drink some water and you're gonna be like, you know what, I don't need the extra bacon. I don't need the bag with cream cheese. I'm kind of full already from that water. You'll end up just, you know, eating a couple eggs. On to lunch. You're going for a cheesesteak with some fries and something else. Drink some water right before it, you know, maybe like 10 to 20 ounces before that. And you'll notice, you'll be like, well, I'm actually kind of full. I'm not craving that cheesesteak and those fries as much. Maybe you'll only eat half. Ditch the fries. You get the point. Um, drink the water. Eight, eight ounce glasses a day is personally not ideal. If you know, you wanna hit an adequate level, great starting point, in my opinion. Now, back to the beginning of the video where we said, you know, the formula is your body weight times two thirds, that's your fluid ounces. It can be hard to get that much, but with buying the correct bottles and always having a bottle with you, I believe that you could get to your goal very easily. Now, if you're more active, it's not too much. You don't have to, like, make a whole new formula. If you're more active, you'll just realize that you're hitting your goal a lot sooner. You can drink more water than that. The only thing you have to worry about is drinking too much water at one time, which is actually pretty hard because you're going to be so full you don't want to drink no more water. Other than that, that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. See you soon.